We see almost daily scenes of great suffering throughout the Middle East, and no group is more affected than Christians. Number one enemies of ISIS are the Christians. They took everything, our dignity, our churches, our future, even our properties, nothing. Most of the Americans, um, they have no clear idea what's happening over there. Pope Francis has called on Christians and Catholics throughout the world to act. And so the Knights of Columbus began the Christian at Risk Fund to bring immediate assistance into the refugee camps where Christians are. Here at Marin Catholic, we believe in both the study of faith and the practice of faith. In my classrooms, I'm always talking about what's going on in the world. When ISIS struck, I was very much upset by the plight of the Christians there. And I'm an active member of the Knights of Columbus. So I saw that the Knights were having a Christian refugee fund. It started with one person that cares. I'm hearing about what's happening in your country, our brothers Christians in Iraq, and Knights of Columbus, Catholics of Marine. We want to do something. Father Michael sent me, this is uh, Joe. Please come here to help us. They give me hope. They happened to be over here at a wedding, fortunately, when ISIS, you know, invaded their town. And the daughter would have been sold off to, you know, to slavery. Uh, the boys forced to kill other Christians or be killed themselves. And it's just heartbreaking. ISIS is controlled. Everything, everything. Now our culture, they destroy it. God is giving me the way to come here, to be in safe, well, especially my daughter, because the ISIS is taking daughter for this thing. Every day I've repented to the God. We introduced the students to this family. It was really profoundly impacting, I think, in the, in the students' hearts. The student in Marine Catholic High School, they were like very interested to hear our story. Just to see the family made me realize that this issue isn't just on the news or on television, that it, it's, it's more personal. We had a dinner with the local Knights community. I have students come over and serve the dinner, get about 100 people to show up, and then they write the check out to the Knights, then directly to the Christian Relief Fund. We partnered with Marine Catholic we passed the hat every day in the classroom. So by Easter last year, we raised between the dinner and school $23,000 here. The financial support is so important for families because they are not able to work or get any type of government benefits while the asylum status is pending. I'm so thankful for the Maryland Catholic School. We feel better when we see like American people help others. I am so grateful that I was able to support the Knights of Columbus Christians at Risk Fund. It has shown me how powerful faith can be. I'm hoping we can all do this and add a little hope into the world, small little lights of hope for the people that are suffering over there. The students were giving something of themselves, their time, their dedication, that says we care enough to give something of ourselves to help you.